Hey, I'm in Diamond City again. Huh, uncanny. Welcome back to Fallout 4. In the last video, we... I can't remember what I did. But anyway, we're here. I, uh... I, I, we, oh, yeah. I was doing that one, uh... I think, was it a... Brotherhood of Steel quest? Yeah, but now we're back here in Diamond City because I'm gonna do Piper's storyline. Because I have read online that Piper is apparently one of the compa one of the many companions that you that you can uh, recruit. And Glad you drop by. You holding up, Luke? Why are you calling me that? Cause you're a vault dweller. <laughs> I know you're not wearing a blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look. Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the common. Huh. Book. Interesting. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. Uh, what kind of interview is this going to be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. Well, she what is a reporter. Sure. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time inside? I was stuck in an ice cooler for 200 years. My family and I were frozen. <laughs> we didn't spend much time in the vault. Wait. They boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yep. Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Oh my god. The man at a time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? The <laughs> fun destroying things. It sucks. Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now, I already know you're looking for yourself. Sean, do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? The Institute? Who were they? That blue is the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth. No one really knows who or where they are, but their handiwork is all over. The science Since people. Synthetic people sent from their hidden labs to do the Institute's dirty work. Yep, killed them a couple Sometimes times. Sometimes they even replace a person with a synth double. A little covert agent no one would ever suspect. Now, not everything that goes wrong has the Institute behind it, but there's always a chance. That's why I'm asking. Hmm. I don't know. Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. And people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Copper wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. Yep. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? That <laughs> people ignore kidnappings? <laughs> don't lose hope. How much you want to give up? Don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Yay! Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see what the story goes next. Piper is available to be. Well, that was easy. I thought it was gonna be a long quest line, but apparently not. Ooh, we got a new perk point. And get in on to be level 25. Uh, what's this? Affects total health and the action point you drain from sprinting. I instantly gain one point. Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, I should probably take that. <laughs> Water is your ally. You no longer take radiation damage from swimming. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty good. Well, now that I'm level 16 and Piper is available to be my companion... Actually... Hey. How you doing, buddy? Eh, never mind, boy. Aru. <laughs> Aru. So he's my cute little dog in armor. In armor and. Most folks are just looking for a hand. All we gotta do is offer. Yep. And Piper, hey, Piper. I want you to come with me. Heading my way. You sure you want to travel with me? Oops. Well, it's that, or get back to writing the paper. I guess the paper can wait. Let's go. Sure. Let's go. Will do. 
<laughs> the dog sad whimper. Oh, sorry, boy. Time for you to head home. Hey. Nothing stays hidden forever. How you doing? Go on. Wait for me at home. Uh, yes, I would like you to go to Sanctuary. Confirm. Bye, dog. I'm gonna miss you, but for now, we're traveling with Piper. Piper. Head my way? Sure. Let's go. Do. Right. So now that we have Piper, I am actually gonna continue with the main storyline because I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna tackle more side quests out of game. Out. Well, not really out of game, but off Big, camera. Loud, the brown nosing citizens, but it's home. Yeah. Uh, where is? There it is. That's the main story. But it's home. I bet Piper will like to. I don't care. As long as she's good with the gun, I'm okay with it. I'm willing to bet Piper will be interested to see what Valentine really looks like. Come on, Piper. Go. Come on. Here we go. Are you here? Nick? Hey. Oh, God. It's really you. Well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Ah, what were you Not hiding? as long as I got a Some ammo in this one. Back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. And thank you. Hey, <laughs> pay me. Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre war ruins all the time, then, do you? I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but. You deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on a detective hat, Nick should use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Well, uh, I guess you could take it. Make yourself comfortable. <laughs> ah, it's easy. Make yourself comfortable. You're trying to find someone who's gone missing. The devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. Hmm. First of all, let's describe the vault. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. A lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? Let's describe, uh, let's describe the murder first. My Next. wife was murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean and they, they just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? Yeah, my kidnappers. There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? And my son. We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Taking on all of his care, they needs a lot of it. That confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. A lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. Where you hail from? Who are the gunners? High-end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. You think raiders might have done this? Maybe. I honestly doubt it. They can barely organize themselves, let alone pull off something this complicated. Wait. Super mutants? What are they? Big, green, muscles on muscles. In other words, hard to miss. I think we can safely rule them out. 
So it has to be the institute. So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames But them. you're from the institute. You're a synth. Why? Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human. Infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Like you? Worst of all, no one knows oh. why they do it. What their plan is, where they are. Not even me. I'm a synth myself. Discarded prototype, anyway. Hmm. You're a prototype? You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal. And there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Hmm, interesting. Either way, I need to find Sean. Right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What do these kidnappers look like? It's a man and a woman, I think. The man who killed my wife. He had a handgun. I didn't get a clear look at it. That sound could have been a large caliber revolver. Huh. I'm starting to get a clearer picture of the kind of man our perp is. Anything more you can tell me? This is, this is gonna be a very boring video, isn't it? I'll never forget that voice. Low, rough, like sandpaper across her face. Huh. Not much to go on. A tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? Uh, one of them came right up to me. Bald head, scar across his left eye. Wait, it couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Who is he? Do you think he has Sean? Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. He bought a house here in town, right? He had a kid with it, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned wet stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. You said he lives here? He's still in town? They both vanished a while back, if I'm remembering right. That house is still Could be something there. to go on. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last no, 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 camera. See if we can snoop out where he went. Sure. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Let's go. Well, let's go, Nick. He's got a. He's got that really dashing cap. Plus, he's a synth, which, well, at least he's a prototype. So, are you going somewhere, Nick? Nick, there we go. He disappears. I'm gonna go. Yep. Looks like we're doing shim. Oh, damn it. Can I? No, oh, there we go. I don't know why it pauses. That was so strange. Right. We're doing some nice Leatherfoot detect work. detective work. And we've got our intrepid young reporter with us. I don't, I've forgotten how to walk. I didn't want Ellie to hear that. I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance. Bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies. Oops. They're all dead. <laughs> Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. More than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The MO is all in as well. Interesting. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later. Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Hmm. Well, this is actually a pretty nice place. They constructed out of the ruins of an old, the old stadium. I'm guessing it was the, the, the main stadium that uh, was built that is in Boston. I have no idea because I'm not American. Hello. Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? See if I can get this open. Okay. That's one heck of a lock. Something to hide, Kellogg. Meanwhile, why don't you give it a try? I don't think I can pick this. I can't pick this. It's too difficult. No luck. We need to find the key. Which is probably always like corpse or something. Corpse. See that platform in the distance near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. 
Why don't you go ask around there? I'll it's stay an, here and see if I can jimmy this lock. It's the VIP booth. Get the key to Kellogg's house. All right. Looks like we're on the quest. We're off to see the wizard. The wonderful wizard of Oz. Where, where, where was this platform base anyone? Uh, was, was it that one? Is it? You dressed your Valentine. Oh, at least, at least it's nice to know that they treat Nick differently than the other regular uh, institutions. Hi, Burr, come on, get over here. Hey. Over here. Just get in here. Get in the lift, otherwise I'll leave you behind. Thank you. It's an old, uh, looks like an old uh, cleaning gondola, actually. Yeah, it is an, it is an old cleaning gondola. Like a window washing gondo hey. gondola. Point the way. Maybe we can go, we'll go up here like the air is dead or something. Hi. Wanna get out of here? I don't think we'd make pretty ghouls. What the hell? Why are there rads coming from that door and she's just sitting next to it like... Like, yay! The mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? I need to talk to someone about Kellogg's old house in the West Stands. Mr. Kellogg's residence? He left town a while ago. We foreclosed on uh, the property garbage, and locked it up. If there was something belonging to the man that you have a claim on, you could ask the mayor to hear you out. No guarantees. Uh, well, I'll talk to you. the mayor then. He set aside time to talk to petitioners all day. Best of luck. Thank you. Well, I guess... Heads up. Piper? Wait there. Stay there. Okay. I'll be here then. I'm gonna talk to the mayor by myself. So, oh, it's one of those big storms again. That's uh, ah yes, I remember you, our new arrival. I wish I was in your shoes, getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How can I help? You? Yeah, he can help me, all right. A man named Kellogg used to live in this city. I need to search his house. I see. Well, whatever reasons you have, I take my citizens' privacy very seriously. Even after they've left, I can't allow you to invade someone else's home. That's all there is to it. Really? Please, Mayor McDonough. This man Kellogg kidnapped my son. I need to find him. I Damn it. I'm sorry, but <laughs> however like horrible that. the crimes this Mr. Kellogg may have committed, your word alone isn't hard. Dang, my charisma isn't high enough. Do I have 250 caps? I understand. You have rules. Maybe for the right amount, you can bend them a bit. What? How dare you? I'm the mayor, for nope. God's sake, not some thug for hire. So that's it? You're not going to help? Security is part of what keeps Diamond City above the petty squabbles and misfortunes of the Commonwealth. I can't betray that for any. Well, you're a stuck-up psycho. Well, not psycho, but a Fine. selfish Thanks man. for nothing. I disappointing, but I have to think of all the people of Diamond City, not just the needs of one person. I could just cap you and, you know, take the key for myself. <sighs> Thanks for nothing, cheap shot. No funny business around the mayor. Got it? Heads up. Got it. Come on. Going anywhere. I'm sorry, but you're not getting that key from me. Why do you want it so badly anyway? Please. All I want to do is find my son. The man who owned that house kidnapped him. I've heard the sob stories before, so save them. Uh, maybe we can reach an agreement? I just happen to have a pile of caps here. A gift? For me? Oh, how generous. Oh, there I go again, leaving a key out on my desk and forgetting to put it back. Heh heh. Heh heh Mine! Uh, how do I get down again? Oh yeah, that's right, left. Uh, Piper? I need you in here, otherwise the lift, I will not leave. 
Right. That's that done with. I have no idea how many caps I have. Like 13 caps left. Hmm. This is gonna quick save here. Just in case you find anything bad in Kellogg's house. Do 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 do. Ready for the lift to go down. This is dangerous. I, I, I could just hop off, but whatever. Sorry, Piper. All right, let's get over to Kellogg's house and see what's what. Extra, extra. Is your neighbor really human? We have to. You got too much. I'm telling you, it ain't just a store. Universal. Hmm. New places, new faces, new places to fill faces with lead. <laughs> And or laser beams and or plasma. <laughs> Yo, got a ski. Right, let's see what's in here. Take a look around. Kellogg must have left something. Ooh, beer. And uh, crafting materials. How nice. Place seems small to you. I get a guy like Kellogg. Big. Well, yeah, there is a second floor, and there's probably like a hidden handcuffs, corn, corn, duct tape, nothing here. Did you check out that desk. That desk? Oh, the desk. Oh, hello. What's this under here? Oh. Well, that's one way to hide a room. Wow, he had a lot of stuff in here. Ammo! Blue, come on. Let me carry something before you cripple yourself. Sorry. Look, Look alive. Okay. Uh, let me store some of my miscellaneous crap, like my drugs, and beer, and more drugs, and all of this cola. Uh, <laughs> all of a Merc's favorite thing. Gwyneth Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own. Hmm. What? Anything else? Any suggestions, Nick? Hmm. About dog meat. Commonwealth mutt like him can track a man sent for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whip? If he picks up the truck. I need a dog meat for this, huh? Before you head out. I know this is personal business. You have to face Kellogg on your own. Just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. You can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man. No problem, Valentine. Any words of wisdom? Kellogg really is the one who kidnapped your son. He's dangerous. So are you. You don't need to be afraid of him or anything else the Commonwealth throws at you. Yep. I don't know. I don't know. I might need your help on this one, but maybe I should go on my own. If you need me, just come knock. Not. Then the next time I see you, I hope it's with your son. Safe and sound. Yay! Oh, I've got Nick to be my companion as well. Nice. Right, well, that's that. Out into Diamond City, and we'll end this video here. So, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like and a comment in the comment Good section below. No, oh, me's really here. Subscribe to my channel for more gaming videos, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Ta ta.